Nine fillies behind the gate for race six. It's the first filly division of the Turner Memorial. They'll race for a purse of $7,645. The Real Princess, Rojo Mo, KC Starlight. Mermaid Magic, Cougar on a Tear, Cutter Loose, Tobin's Diva, Little Miss Molly, and the back deer is Malice Intent. They are off and uh, pacing. The Real Princess from the rail darts out to grab the early lead as they race into that first turn. KC Starlight. Dropping back, moving up on the outside, Rojo Mo looks for the pocket of the inside. Malice Intent is away a third. Then uh, KC Starlight, they race into the back stretch. KC Starlight has found the pocket as they race to the opening quarter. The Real Princess is the leader in behind those a pair. As they race out of the opening quarter, Malice Intent gets away nicely in a three, followed fourth, Rojo Mo. Then a fifth at the rail as they continue on over to the three eights is Mermaid Magic. They race into the turn, and they're led by the Real Princess. She'll dictate the early terms as they race past the 3 eights and off the top turn. Leads the way into the stretch. In the pocket, KC Starlight. And uh, third is uh, Malice Intent, capping out Rojo Mo in uh, four. And starting up on the outside from five, as they race past the half, is uh, Mermaid Magic. Moving to the outside is uh, Cougar on a tear from uh, six. Seventh outside is Tobin's Diva. Then uh, back to Cutter Loose. And now trailing is Little Miss Molly into the turn. Onto the five eights, the half, and a brisk 56 and one fifth second. They're on their way through the backstretch. Final time approaching three quarters. The real princess setting some lines. Lively fractions here. Right there getting the trip is KC Starlight in the pocket on the inside. And moving up to reclaim third is a Malice Intent. Stall first over was Mermaid Magic as they continue on to the 7 eights. The Real Princess is the one to take down. KC Starlight the next closest pursuer. Then Malice Intent still there third on the, on the inside. Rojo Mo re-emerging in fourth. Less than an eighth to come. 125 and three was the three quarters. The Real Princess turned for home and a two-length lead. KC Starlight is second to third is Malice in Ted. Big trip here. The real princess gate to wire fashion opening up to win it by three. KC Starlight second third is Malice in Tent. The mile in 154 and three-fifths. As track announcer Vance Cameron might say, wow. Okay, <laughs> the one, the real princess, we told you she was the real deal. And as she just put an exclamation mark on that comment, winning gate to wire as she pleased, 154 and three. The win was never in doubt. A pocket sitter, KC Starlight. I figured Todd Trites would be able to work out a great trip for her. And what an improvement for her. She's got to be race timed here in. 55 or 55 and one great to see kc starlight in for new brunswick to finish for second and then the local horse malice intent uh, finishes up in third and rojo mo another one showing big improvement there to finish fourth it's a one three a nine and two top four unofficial uh, the real princess conditioned by eddie Doucette, Corey mcpherson on board for the drive and uh, set some lively Fractions, as uh, Joe Kelly mentioned, 27 and 3, 56 and 1, 125 and 3. She's home easy, 29 flat on the end for a new lifetime best of 154 and 3. Ultra impressive, the real deal. She is the real princess. Back for a winner circle photo here at Truro. Now back into victory lane, the winner of the first Philly division of the Turner Memorial, number one, the real princess, a daughter by source of pride. Was bred by Blaine Tebow. 
Playing also shares ownership with Eddie Doucette, Gordon McLeod, and Grant Mann. Eddie Doucette trains. Corey McPherson, the winning driver. The Real Princess has equaled the Truro Raceway track record for three-year-old pacing fillies. That was set back in 2020 by Woodmere Skyroller. Tonight, the Real Princess equals that mark. 154 and three-fifths, also a new lifetime best.